Good evening, Fairbanks. Thanks for joining us. After allegations of sexual abuse of a Fairbanks North Star Borough School District teen, the family members of Claude Folks are speaking out on his behalf. Now, the alleged abuse has led to seven charges of sexual abuse in the first degree and the chief administrator of the school district being placed on administrative leave during an investigation of the case. We have more now in, on that in this report. Members of the Folks family are speaking out amid serious allegations of sexual abuse. Claude Folks was indicted nearly a month ago, charged with sexual abuse of a 15-year-old male student. Allegations that his family says are unfounded. My nephew has been in jail almost a month. They have no evidence. This is not just destroying his life, it's destroying my family's life. My daughter's being evicted, my grandson is trying to be taken away, and there's no evidence. Santos says the allegations are serious, but with the lack of evidence released by the state at this point, it's unfair for folks to remain in jail with no bail. I understand I have been a foster parent and I believe in protecting children, but you need to have facts. You need to have something. The court system has nothing. The district attorney, the cops, they're just dragging their feet. Today, folks was appointed a public defender, Eve Soudier. Now, part of the proceedings were to release a vehicle that belonged to his aunt that was impounded nearly a month ago by Alaska State Troopers as evidence. My vehicle from the school, I searched for it for three weeks to find out it was impounded. So I'm like, what do I have to pay? And then it's accumulating fees. What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't in a bank robbery. It wasn't in a crime, but you have my vehicle. It's impounded, now there's fees. She says for the family it has been the perception and judgment that has been the hardest. Can you judge somebody when you don't know them? And then if he is such a horrible person and he did something, why don't they have any, why, is, why don't they have evidence? Why can't the state prove its case? This is Stephanie Woodard reporting.